today we're looking at more top eight standings from city leagues in Japan on pokekabook.com. Uh, there's actually 18 city leagues worth of top eights to look at today, and they also have this pie chart for the metagame here. I'll be leaving the link down below as usual, uh, but let's get in because there's going to be some very interesting decks to look at today. This first one is uh, a capacity of 32 people, and we're looking at the top eight decks. So a Sablezard deck one, they're playing two Super Rods, two Jet Energies, those are some newer cards. Uh, this stadium right here is Artazan. Um, so I've been getting Artazan and Jubilife Village confused. Artazan has the the windmill in the back, and Jubilife Village has uh, like the lost zone almost floating in the background. Uh, so Artazan has the windmill. Uh, that's how you tell them apart. <clears throat> and uh, it has once a turn that player may search your deck for a basic Pokemon non rule box and put it onto their bench. So it's almost like a free nest ball uh, every turn for both players. And then, of course, we know what Super Rod does, gets some energy and Pokemon back into the deck. So Sablezard won this event. Uh, next, we have Arceus Flying Pikachu without another partner. It's really just Arceus Flying Pikachu and Drapion V for the Mew matchup. And also the new Spirit Tomb. The Spirit Tomb shuts off all basic rule box Pokemon. I'm sorry, basic V Pokemon. Uh, basic Pokemon V in play have no abilities. Uh, so this is good because it just shuts off Genesect V. And then you also have Path of the Peak. This is playing for Iono. Very important to note. Iono is uh, kind of like the end reprint. And just in case people are coming in that haven't played the game for a little while, I will bring up Iono. I know a lot of you uh, diehard TCG players already know what Iono does and can't wait. But there might be some newbies in the chat. So... Uh, each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. Then each player draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards. This is going to be an absolute staple card. Uh, get four as soon as possible when this card comes out. And uh, if you're building multiple decks, get enough to put them in every deck because it's a very, very, very good card. In top four, there was Arceus Duraludon. Uh just straight up Arceus Duraludon, new card just being the Ionos. And then uh, we've also got Arceus Giratina with a 1 1 flying Pikachu and that Spirit Tomb. Not playing any Drapion, just using the Spirit Tomb as their Mew counter. And then they also have the new Squawk Ability EX, which, spoiler, this Squawk Ability EX is going to be in a lot of decks we look at. It has the ability Show Off Take. You may use this ability once a turn. On your first turn, discard your hand and draw six. So it's a really, really, really good uh, turn one draw. Uh, it's actually a card that I've wished I had in Arceus decks because sometimes you'll have Arceus and no energy and there's no more Crobat V. There's nothing else you could really do on turn one. You can't play a Professor's Research. Luminion doesn't help you. Bibarol isn't until turn two at the soonest. So uh, the Squawk Ability EX is a nice card to have for decks and situations like that. Next, I think we're in top eight now. Yeah, we're in top eight. So here's Giratina Lost Zone playing a Cleansing Gloves, which your attacks do 30 more to Psychic Pokemon. That can help versus Mew, uh, so your lost impacts can knock out Mew V Max. Also helps against Gardevoir EX, so your uh, lost impacts can knock out Gardevoir EX. Then also in top eight we have a Sky Seal Stone variant of Lost Box, just playing Ryko V and Drapion V as the Sky Seal Stone users, and then a pretty basic Lost Zone setup. Uh, no Ionos for the Lost Zone here. Just sticking with Roxanne. Also note they've got that Artisan Stadium there. Once a turn, Nest Ball. Then we've got Mew V Max in top eight with a Squawk Ability EX of their own in the deck. And this is the Fusion Strike variant, of course, with Alessa Sparkle and Meloetta. Uh, they're also playing an Iono instead of what would probably typically be a Roxanne there. And no Path to the Peaks in this one. Then we've got a little bit more of a typical list with Path to the Peaks and Roxanne, but also an Iono. Uh, and again, it's the Fusion Strike build with Meloetta and also a Deoxys. On to the next tournament. This one is 64 people. 
and Arceus Giratina with Flying Pikachu won this event. Uh, we've got three Ionos in there, so Heavy, Iono, Path to the Peak, and also three Judge, so six uh, Shuffle Your Opponent's Hands supporters, plus three Paths, and then also the Spirit Tomb that we already looked at shuts off basic V abilities, so Arceus decks looking as strong as ever. Then we've got Arceus alone, Volpix Flying Pikachu, and this was played uh, to a top 16 finish in EUIC, an Arceus alone, Volpix Flying Pikachu VMAX deck, uh, but it got overshadowed by the Arceus Duraludon alone, Volpix decks. Uh, but then they're also playing the new Spirit Tomb here and Squawkabilly EX, Ionos, uh, so those are just some of the cards you're seeing in most of these decks. Uh, Spirit Tomb, Squawkabilly, Iono, Super Rod, Artisan, uh, Jet Energy, these are all being uh, played quite frequently, so those are some of the best cards out of the new sets that they have over there in Japan. Here we have a control deck with four block Snorlax, the Manaphy that can get two Pokemon out of your opponent's hand and put them onto the bench, and then also the Mimic U that cannot be hit by EX, I believe EX or V Pokemon, but let's just double check that. Yeah, it has Safeguard, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and Pokemon V, and it can do seven damage counters a turn with Ghost Eye. So just your typical control style deck, trying to deck out the opponent. You have Pidgeot, so you can't deck out. Very cool. And the second deck in top four is going to be a Skeledurge EX deck. Uh, let's check out Skeledurge EX because we haven't talked about Skeledurge on the channel yet. So Skeledurge EX is a 340 HP fire type stage 2 EX Pokemon. Song of Energy does 50 damage for one energy and it heals 30 from each Pokemon. And then Burning Voice Fire Fire does 270. And this attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So this is a huge Pokemon. And you can bet that they're going to be playing Cheryl in this deck so that you can fully heal that Skeledurge if needed. Uh, you've also got Magma Basin in here. Um, I actually would have expected to see more ways to heal. Uh, but yeah, just the one Cheryl. Also Agatha. Uh, Agatha can move uh, Magma Basin damage off, so I guess that makes sense too. It's really cool to see the cleansing gloves being used. Uh, I mean, it's there's a lot of gloves. There's one for every type, and just the cleansing are being used popularly right now, but at least some of them are being used. That's pretty cool. And then they also have an Entei V as a non-evolution attacker in the deck. Then we've got Lost Zone with Kyogre. As I think I mentioned in my last video on this channel, the Super Rod really helps the Kyogre variant uh, because this... this uh, variant missed having ordinary rod and then in top eight as well we've got colorless lugia uh, with attackers like snorlax and weird ear v and also metacham v to clean up some uh missing knockouts on the board and then we've got single strike lugia with the one one urshifu v max and uh, just the four single strike energies, no impact energies like I've seen in some lists playing Duraludon and single strike Urshifu. Uh, but then they also have the jet energies, which are uh, which are new to the deck. And then we've got a dark ride deck in top eight of the 64 person event uh, with that Squawkabilly EX as well as Iono and Super Rod as some new cards in the deck. Here's another 32-person event. We have Gardevoir EX in first place uh, with just one Drifloon and no Champions Festival, no healing cards, it seems. Uh, so yeah, just the one Drifloon, focusing more probably on Shining Arcana Guardi as the attacker. And you can also attack with Gallade pretty easily because they're playing a Reversal Energy. Um, so that reversal energy can really buff up the damage of the Shining Arcana Guardi and also allow you to just pretty easily attack with a Gallade if you want to. Uh, but yeah, so this is just really, really straight Gardevoir. Um, they're only playing three Curlias, which really bothers me, but they got first place in a 32-person tournament, so I guess it's okay. Uh, go moving on. Second place was Colorless Lugia with some Reversal Energy and Luxray action. 
uh, the Luxray that you can play down onto your bench directly if you're behind on prize cards. And then, of course, Reversal Energy goes well with that if you're behind on prize cards as well. Uh, then we've got a Palkia V-Star Heavy Chien Pal deck with the 202 Bax Caliber and two rare candies, a full set of four Irida. Because those Iridas are so good. You get your Palkia or you get your uh, Bax Caliber plus rare candy. Uh, this is, uh, this is new to me, though, seeing 3-3 three, three Palky of E-Star in the, uh, in the Chien Pal deck. Then we've got some more Gardevoir. This one's also only playing 3 of the Refinement Curlia, but that's because they're playing one of the Mirage Step Curlia as well. They're playing one Zacian and one Sky Seal Stone, and they're playing just one Drifloon and one of the Charm to buff its HP. So this variant's a little more kind of all over the place. Or this list, I should say, is a little more all over the place. Then we've got more Darkrai V-Star. More Darkrai V-Star. One more time, more Darkrai V-Star. Another top eight for it. Uh, playing the Squawkabilly EX, two Ionos, a Super Rod. So uh, Darkrai V-Star stands. Uh, this this is your time to shine. Uh, then we've got Mew VMAX, Fusion Strike Energy again, uh, Cleansing Gloves. Cleansing Gloves good against Guardi and good against other Mew decks. Uh, another guard of our variant. This one's playing two Champions Festivals. This one got top eight. Uh, playing double Drifloon, double Charm, double Champions Festival. Also that Reversal Energy to go with the Shining Arcana Guardi. I really, really like the Reversal Energy with Shining Arcana Guardi. That's that's a really cool. Uh, that's a really cool combo. And then last for top eight of this tournament is an Arceus Giratina Flying Pikachu. I think we've seen all this before. We got Cleansing Gloves, we got Super Rod, we've got Spear Tomb, Iono, one Jet Energy, and moving on to the next tournament. Another 64 <clears throat> another 64 person tournament here. We've got uh three Chi and Pal with a 303 Bax Caliber and one one Palkia. That's more like what I've been seeing. And then one of uh, the Kyogre that can do 180 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And you return two energies, I believe. Let me just double check that. Kyogre. Yeah, Dynamic Wave. You return three energies to your hand and you do 180 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. They're actually playing Skaters Park here. Uh, that's the stadium that lets you get back your energy when you retreat, I believe. When either player's active Pokemon retreats, put any basic energy that would be discarded into their hand. Yeah, so that's really good for a Baxcalibur deck because you can just attach infinite energy from your hand. And yeah, so that's a first place for Chi and Pal Baxcalibur. Then in second place, we've got some more Gardevoir. And this is Sky Seal Stone Zacian, one reversal energy for those Shining Arcana Guardies. No Champions Festival, no Drifloon. Uh, and no charm, of course, since the charm is typically for Drifloon. But you'll see they're countering Drifloon variants with the Tool Jammer uh, to get rid of that charms effect of higher HP. Then we've got uh, Lawson Giratina not playing any Drapions, but they are playing that Spirit Tomb that shuts down basic V Pokemon's abilities. And uh, also Super Rod and also an Iono in this one. So that's a top four Lost Zone Giratina deck. And then top four Colorless Lugia. Uh, let's see, Weird Ear, Snorlax. We got Squawkabilly EX. Got Therapy Energy, Jet Energy, Regenerative Energy. Uh, playing an Iono, playing a Penny. Okay, yeah, things we've all seen before. Then into top eight, there's actually a Leafeon VMAX Spideops EX deck in top eight. And there's this new stadium card that uh, increases, it increases retreat cost, but we're going to have to find it. So let's see, here we go. Uh, let's translate that real quick. The retreat cost of each basic Pokemon except fighting Pokemon is plus one more. So it is only basic Pokemon that costs to have higher retreat cost. Um, but that's going to help against Chi and Pal. It'll help against, um, Zashi and V. It also might just make some decks harder to retreat and not even take into account that you're doing more damage to them. So it could bother law zone decks that they can't just attach retreat if they want to, things like that. And then also Squawkabilly EX, three Ionos, Super Rod, just 
mentioning all the new cards we see here. So yeah, Leafy on VMAX, Spite Ops in top 8 of a 64-person tournament. Moving on, we have a Chi and Pal, Palkia deck, Baxcalibur in top 8 as well. Uh, playing a 1-1 Revava Room, Revava Revava Room line here to discard energy and draw cards. Also in top 8 is a Sablezard deck with, uh, we got one of those charms there, plus 50 HP on basic Pokemon. And lastly in top 8 is another Chi and Pal deck. With 1-1 one, one Palkia V-Star, got the Squawk ability, got the Kyogre. Uh, yeah, a lot, lot of deck lists here to be looking at if you're looking forward to building with the next set. On to the next tournament, we've got another 64-person tournament. And Hasui and Zorak V-Star won this tournament. Who's letting Hasui and Zorak V-Star up there? Uh, we've got a couple Klefkis, we got Iono, we got Gapejaw Bog, of course, Cleansing Gloves. Okay, this is an anomaly. We'll just uh, chalk this one up to luck. Hasui and Zori V-Star, first place. What? Uh, Giratina Lost Zone deck with Spirit Tomb. We're just going to be kind of flying through these a little bit faster if they're all things that we've seen before. And like I said, I'll leave this link if you want to look more closely at the deck lists we looked at today. Uh, here we have another colorless Lugia deck with Snorlax Weird Ear. And this is top four, uh, Arceus, Zeraora VMAX, Flying Pikachu VMAX deck in top four of a 64-person tournament. I'd say that calls for looking up what Zor Zeraora VMAX does. Zeraora VMAX, Reactive Pulse, 60 times the amount of your opponent's Pokemon in play that has an ability, or Max Fist, 240 discard two energy from this Pokemon. Okay, yeah, uh, it can do a whole bunch of damage for just two energy, and it's pretty beefy. Weak to fighting, which isn't too, too popular. All right, yeah, that's uh, Arceus Zeraora VMAX in top four. Then in top eight, we've got Giratina Lost Zone. We've got Gardevoir again with two reversal energies. Arceus Giratina Flying Pikachu with the Spear Tomb. And finishing it off with Giratina Lost Zone with one Serena V in the deck. Uh, Serena V is the one that discards your bench, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's Serena V. 20 damage plus 40 more for each bench Pokemon you discarded in this way. In top 8 of that tournament. Okay, moving on to the next event. 32 people in this one, top 8. Let's see, we've got Arceus Duraludon. We've got... Uh, colorless Lugia, we've got Arceus Giratina Flying Pikachu, uh, we've got Arc. okay, hold on here, What what is this? We've got Arceus with the Banat that sends itself to the Lost Zone to get a supporter back, also with Cramorant, also with Colorless Experiment, and two Lost Vacuums, so you're doing some Lost Zoning shenanigans. This deck looks like an absolute pile. Uh, then we've got Gardevoir with Radiant Serena and Hisuian Basculin. Uh, Hisuian Basculin searches for basic Pokemon. It has like a free, free call for family, if I'm not mistaken. Gather the crew, search your deck for two basic Pokemon. Yep, that's Gather the crew there. Uh, three Shining Arcana Gardevoir, two Reversal Energies, it's playing jo yeah, this just doesn't look like a very optimal deck list to me. Uh, then we've got Chien Pal, Lugia, Basculin, we've got a Rotom V-Star deck, wow, in top 8 here as well, with a whole bunch of tools because of how Rotom V-Star works. And then we've got Giratina, Lost Zone again. Going down to the next tournament. 32 person event. We've got Arceus Tapu Coco V Max with flying Pikachu V Max playing two Panic Masks. Panic Mask is actually good against Gardevoir. Um, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have 40 HP or less remaining. And of course, with all those psychic embraces, their their Pokemon tend to have not a lot of HP remaining when they're actually going for those big one hit knockouts. Uh, so Panic Mask can be really good against Gardevoir. Then we've got uh, another Gardevoir deck, pretty straightforward, Zacian Sky Seal, Double Shining Arcana, a Reversal Energy. Then we've got Chien Pal, Palkia, Basculin, not Basculin, Bexcalibur, uh, Colorless Lugia with the Luxray plus Reversal Energy, which is very cool. Uh, we've got another Gardevoir deck uh, with 
Champions Festival, but they're not playing Drifloon. So Champions Festival, but no Drifloon. Uh, then we have Fretress EX with, what's this thing called? Is this Wo Chien? Yeah, it's Wo Chien. So Fretress EX with Wo Chien. It could do 60 for each prize card your opponent has taken to one of their bench Pokemon or Forest Burn for 220, and it has 230 HP. Also playing the Spear Tomb in there. And Radiant Jirachi is their choice of Radiant. Then we have a Gardevoir with Drifloon, no Champions Festival, double reversal energy for the Shining Arcanas. And last here for top eight at this tournament was Lost Zone Giratina. We're seeing that Spear Tomb in just about every Lost Zone Giratina deck. Next, we've got an 80 person tournament. Here's top eight. We've got Colorless Lugia in first place. We've got Maridon, Regieleki Flying Pikachu with a 1 1 Flaffy. And the runner-up, second place, was this Lugia playing Dunsparce? They were not playing Dunsparce, would you look at that? Then in top four, we've got a Gardevoir with one Drifloon, two Charms, a Picnic Basket, uh, Arceus Duraludon, and then top eight, we have Colorless Lugia. We have a Regigigas deck with three Luminous Energy and a whole bunch of basic energies. Arceus Giratina with uh, just... It's just straight Arceus Giratina with a Spear Tomb and a Dunsparce. And then a single Strike Lugia, looking more like what we're playing in the States right now. Next, we've got a 64 person tournament. We've got uh, Gardevoir with Zacian without Sky Seal Stone. No Sky Seal Stone in this one. This uh, double Reversal Energy, double Shining Arcana with Body Catch Gallade. This seems to be like almost like a new variant just focusing more on that shining arcana because of what reversal energy allows you to do with the damage output then in second place we've got a colorless lugia with two of the charms i believe it's called charm of courage let's look it up because i've just been calling it charm this whole video yeah charm of courage basic pokemon gets plus 50 hp uh yeah so that snorlax can turn into a 200 hp pokemon weird ear v can be 270 then we've got Arceus Giratina Flying Pikachu, Arceus Giratina, uh, Lost Zone Far Seal Stone Box with Kyogre as well in top eight. Then we've got Arceus Giratina with a 1 1 Alone Vulpix V Star. I love that Alone Vulpix V Star tech. Love it. Then we've got Arceus Gudra with a 1 1 Alone Vulpix V Star. I also love me some Arceus Gudra. And then we've got a. Uh, Lugia with Duraludon deck here with 2-2 two, two Duraludon, also with a Pidgeot and a Mawile. They were really going for the tech here, getting top 8 and tops in a 64-person tournament. Next, we have a 48-person event. We've got a Gardevoir deck with Champions Festival, but without, without uh, Drifloon. Okay, yeah, and no charms. Uh, we've got Zashi in here, but no Sky Seal Stone. We've got Mimic U to block out EX and V Pokemon. No Reversal Energy. This list does not look very good, but it got first place. And then we have Arceus Giratina. Oh, here we go. We've got Arceus with Entei V and uh, Fennekin, not Fennekin, Delphox V and Radiant Heatran with three Magma Basin. This is an interesting one in top four. Then we've got Chi and Pal back caliber. This one's actually playing zero Palkia V Star. We've been seeing a lot of Palkia V Star. They're going with zero and also a one one alone Vulpix V Star. And in top eight, we've got Maridon Regieleki with a two two line of Magnazone V Star. We've got Arceus Duraludon with a one one Pikachu. We've got Lugia Single Strike. And we've got a Gardevoir deck with one Drifloon, one Charm, no Champions Festival, one Zacian, Sky Seal Stone. Their deck is laid out to look like there's a lot of different stuff in it, but there's really not. There's just different arts, so it's not as bad as it looks. Um, yeah, no Reversal Energy, though, no Champions Festival. Um, just the one Drifloon, one Charm. They do play Sky Seal Stone for the Zacian, which is good. Okay, going down to this next tournament, 64 people. We've got Arceus Duraldon winning the event. Uh, Single Strike Lugia in second. Colorless Lugia in third. Arceus Giratina in fourth. So two Arceus, two Lugia taking up the top four. Then this is interesting. We've got 
a Rapid Strike Inteleon VMAX deck with the Curly Align plus Body Catch as like its support, also with Octillery as support. So, okay, three Rapid Strike energy. So we're going just like straightforward Inteleon VMAX is the entire name of the game. It's playing double Cheryl, double Pal Pad, four Iono, three Path. So you're just trying to focus on having this beefy thing that's hard to KO. Then we've got Gardevoir with double Champions Festival, double Drifloon, double Charm. So this is like the true Drifloon variant of the deck. Then we've got Mew VMAX Fusion Strike and Colorless Lugia. I think every Mew VMAX we've seen so far has been Fusion Strike version. 32 person event here. We've got Giratina Lost Zone winning it. And then uh, Gardevoir with one Drifloon, no Zacian V. I'm sorry, two Drifloons and two Charms. A Picnic Basket, but no Champions Festival. Then we got in top four a Mirage Gate box with double Baby Zamazenta and one Zamazenta V. Also playing two Jet Energies and a Sky Seal Stone. And then in top four, we've got Arceus Giratina. We've got Chi and Pell Caliber with no uh, additional V Star V Pokemon at all. It's just Chi and Pal, Bax Caliber, and Kyogre. And we've got more Mew with Meloetta, and then more Mew with Meloetta and Deoxys down here, and then another uh, Lugia deck. This one's single strike and playing the Luxray. We're probably almost done here we've looked through a lot of tournaments but let's see what we've got going on so we've got rapid strike and telly on urshifu with star me v in it and drapion and medicham that's winning this event of 64 people then we've got arceus tapu coco flying pikachu with a luxury and a reversal energy We've got some Lost Zone box with Kyogre Zamazenta. We've got Arceus Giratina Flying Pikachu. Uh, lots of combinations of Arceus with Flying Pikachu, Duraludon, Giratina, Alone Vulpix V-Star, seeing a lot of combinations of that. Uh, then in top eight, we've got two different Maridon EX decks, one with Magnezone V-Star Flying Pikachu, uh, one including neither of those evolution lines. Then we've got a Colorless Lugia with Luxray Reversal and an Arceus Giratina. Going down to this 80-person tournament, we've got Ting Lu EX winning this thing. Let's look at Ting Lu real quick. Land of Radiation, as long as Pokemon's on the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon that have damage counters on them, except Pokemon EX have no abilities, and uh, Landscaping does 150, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It also has 240 HP, which is definitely worth noting. Uh, and then they're playing this with Coridon EX and Halucha to place those damage counters. Very cool deck. Uh, Radiant Alakazam as well can move around those damage counters. Uh, I like this deck a lot. Very surprised to see it winning an 80-person event. Um, but that's that's really cool. Then we've got Gardevoir. Uh, this Gardevoir deck is playing one Reversal and Shining Arcana Guardi. Uh, noting that there's no Champions Festival Drifloon Charm going on here. Um, then we've got a Sablezard box with Shadow Rider, Calyrex V, and a Mimikyu. We've got some more Gardevoir here. This one's playing one Charm, one Drifloon, one Reversal Energy, also playing Buddy Catch Gallade. Then in top eight, we've got a Lost Zone deck with a uh, Superior V Star. That's super, uh, super weird. Playing the Superior V Star in here. Uh, and lost so and then we've got more Mew V Max with Meloetta, Arceus Giratina, and another Guard of Our deck, one Drifloon, Zero Charm, Sky Seal Stone Zacian, just one Shining Archon and no reversal energies. Uh let's see how many tur oh, this is the last tournament. Look at that. So wait, no it's not. There's two more tournaments. Two? Wait, how many did I just scroll through? We just looked at this one. No, we didn't. Okay, two more tournaments. So this 80-person tournament, we have Single Strike Lugia. We have Lost Zone Giratina. Uh, here is Sablezard with Mirage Gates, and it's also playing Wo Chien EX. Uh, so they definitely took some interesting choices. Some interesting choices here. Then we've got Gardevoir with two Drifloon, two Charm, a Picnic Basket. One Reversal Energy, Double Shining Arcana. It seems like you can cut down on the basic energies because you're using the Shining Arcana as more of a main attacker with the Reversal Energies. Then we've got a Chi and Pal deck with Palkia V-Star and Bax Calibur. 
And then we actually have <clears throat> a Palkia V-Star focused deck with a line of Refinement and Shining Arcana uh, and then Radiant Greninja, Custom Catchers, and Cologne. I'm just surprised to see no Kyogre in this. And then more Chi and Pal. And then we also have a Lost Zone box deck with a 2-2 Guja V-Star in it. And then the last tournament we'll look at today, we've got Lost Zone Giratina, <clears throat> Chi and Pal with Bax Calibur and Palkia V-Star, and a 1-1 Bibberol. We've got Arceus Tina Flying Pika, and then Arceus Tina with Alolan Vulpix V-Star. Uh, we have Reggie Drago, which I know people will be excited to see. Reggie Drago V-Star, then Arc Tina Flying Pika, uh, and then Lost Zone Giratina, and Chi and Pal Bax Calibur with both Palky V Star and Alone Volpix V Star rounding out the top eight of this event. So if you want to look at all these lists on your own, I will be leaving this link to Pokeka Book Archives down below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.